Hey everybody, hey, welcome to the Outlet Podcast. My name is Gazy, host of the Outlet Podcast. A little brighter out, uh, sun's out, guns out. Uh, not really, I don't know. Like that. So, this is the second thing. The second thing. I titled it the second thing because in the prior video, um, it's up now on my channel. I'll call it the first thing. So this is the second. Um, I went to, I did two things. I sold back my old pickup truck. Actually, uh, it wasn't old. It was my 2015 F350 Super Crew Super Duty. Duty. Um, it was the Super Crew Super Duty uh, F350. They gave me uh, how much? They gave me nineteen thousand five hundred dollars for it. Not bad at all. Um, for I put two years and a couple, like two and a half years worth of work in that truck, and it worked out. So I did trade in it because I closed my business. I, I traded in because I closed my business. Um, I didn't think they were going to give me that much, but they did. Praise God! And I used that money to buy a, um, or to at least put down some, like three grand extra on a Ford Fiesta. So I'm driving a Ford 2017 Fiesta. This isn't it, this is still my uh, uh, my good old Focus. And the, it's just, that's the first thing. It's really great. I love that it's like hatchback style-ish, but I love how much I'm paying. I'm only paying like 188 bucks, not sponsored video. Um, the second, second thing is that I had my life changed. Um, it happened at Sunday, like Sunday at 1130 PM, right? I'm, I, I take uh, some friends from my church. I'm taking them home, I'm taking them home, right? All of a sudden the, my married friend's wife was all like, what do you do with your wife? And I'm like, oh, we do this, but we don't really do anything anymore. That's, that was the spark. I was like, we don't do anything anymore. Well, what, what was gonna happen? The solar eclipse, or the lunar eclipse. No, it was the solar eclipse. Um, and it was gonna go down. Uh, so I'm like, all right, let's watch it. However, I looked on the line and Florida was only going to receive like, a partial eclipse like at most it was gonna receive like 15 to 20 percent of the actual full eclipse that's garbage bro that was total garbage and I was like ain't no way like this thing is supposed to be monumental everybody's talking about it online I don't want to miss out so what do I do I actually tell my wife hey honey you want to watch solar eclipse she's like where and I'm like South Carolina I'm gonna start uploading if I haven't started putting pictures in the video I'm putting them now me and my wife drove Monday morning at 1 a.m. 12 a.m. Uh, we drove from 12 to or 1 a.m. to Charleston South Carolina at six hours we drove the whole night we slept in shifts and we Slept the last like two hours in a food lion um, parking lot. It was funny. So it's 8 p.m. or it's 8 a.m., right? And we decided to go to. Oh, what did I do with the sticker? I had the sticker. Okay, I had the sticker. We go to Middleton, Middleton Place. It's a famous or infamous, if you want to think on that long line it's a infamous famous plantation and it was huge it was astounding to think that people could own property like that as well as use slave labor slave labor because what i didn't know was that like planting rice grains or whatever it was that the, how the slaves planted for rice they would walk and they would pig, big toe pit like the ground and then cover it up with like they would pit it 
put the grain in the the seed and then cover it up. So they would be like big towing, blah, 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 and then putting the seed and then covering it up. Slave labor was really horrible. And um, I saw the remnants of all these uh, like like statues or not statues, but like not, not statues. They were like mon they weren't monuments either. They were big houses, big plantation houses, all torn down. Not that this is going on currently, but this happened when Sherman and the Union forces came and destroyed everything from the South. So that was really crazy. Um, just being there. So after that, me and my wife were like, all right, I, we got to go to uh, the, ma the main street, the marketplace. I found out that there's a, qu a French Quarter. Uh, French Quarters in any city are awesome to go to. I went to one in New Orleans, the French Quarter. Very cool. And I went to the one in South, uh, South Carolina, uh, in Charleston. Charleston, y'all know how to dress. Uh, I'm not talking about the small city, like the suburbs, like, or... The farm areas, I don't know how y'all do it. I did see one lady wearing overalls. Pretty cool. Uh, and she wasn't hipster. No, she was just straight up farm girl. That was funny. Um, the dudes that were in Charleston, swag. So much hipster. But it wasn't even hipster because it was older dudes who were just like, they just had game. And they, would, they were wearing like these seersucker like patterned coats jack coat jackets and like super flowy pants and like sh like shoes with no socks so cool i want to dress like a charleston guy uh very cool very very cool fashions um and then we go we go to this restaurant uh i'm eating catfish and my wife she has some chicken and people are looking up me and my wife start taking turns to get go outside the restaurant to look. Everybody, there were a lot of people here in Florida who were crapping on how stupid it was. That's because you guys were here. If you went to go watch the full eclipse, hush your mouth. Hush your mouth. The full eclipse was the most astounding, marvelous splendid awing thing I have ever seen the only the, the only second greatest thing that's ever gonna happen in my life is would be the birth of my child when I get a child if I get a child I don't know that was the most greatest thing I've ever seen I saw a, a giant massive celestial body floating in front of what gives our solar system heat and function and it covered it i saw i guess it was aurora borealis i don't know what the there were colors clouds started forming it was a bright day clouds started forming when the eclipse was happening it was like nature was like oh crap something's going down uh, the street lights it was 2 p.m crazy bright right 2 p.m and it was bright because i was sweating guess what happens bro the street lights in the city all turned on it got that dark all right the temperature dropped like 20 25 degrees it got cold the wind started blowing i saw lightning happening off in the distance still within the charleston I was going crazy. All of a sudden, it's going 98% covered. I'm looking up at the sky. This beautiful ring forming on one side and complete. Guys, the, there was a golden light shining in between the white ring as well as the the colorful the colors in the clouds the i guess it's aurora borealis don't don't quote me on that this beautiful golden pearly light guys it was amazing no car was on the no car was on the road there were no cars on the road man 
everybody was in the streets. It was monumental. I am never going to see anything greater than that. Not even like a volcano exploding, bro. This was, this was mesmerizing. This was interplanetary. This further emphasizes to me how amazing God is. That if it weren't for the moon rotating around the earth, which also rotates, if the two wouldn't, weren't rotating as the one rotated the other, as the other rotates the sun, if we didn't have th this perfect timing happened, and it's going to happen again if earth is still in existence, and within the next, like, I think they said 50 years or 100 years, something like that. And I got to witness it, bro. Get out of my face. Nothing is greater than this. All right, like, I, my wedding was awesome. That was great. Um, Sting beating Hulk Hogan was awesome in uh, WCW. Uh, Hulk Hogan coming back was awesome. There's nothing else that I can ever compare this to. Nothing. Nothing. I saw something happening in space from earth and i didn't have to pay bump disney bro that was amazing that's the second thing that happened and well yeah i had to drive like six hours back savannah georgia didn't really have too much fun but i did go to a place called stoner's pizza and uh pretty cool so that's all i got i really had fun um just I'm in awe, man. I'm in awe. So right now I'm going home, did my Uber, and I'm just going to go uh, relax for tomorrow so I can keep on doing Uber. Uh, hopefully I get that job call on Thursday. Uh, pray for me. That Hopefully that works out, and uh, I'll see you guys later. My name's Gazy, host of the Outlet Podcast. Go check out my older, my older and other videos. I think you'll enjoy them. I like to talk about my life, and I like to talk about comic books and anime and cosplay and uh, music. I've done some music vlogs and some other things. So my name's Gazy. This is my big fist and my wedding ring. 3D. Uh, connect and recharge.